The VolQuest Two Minute Drill is brought to you by Craven Wings. Craven Wings Two Minute Drill on this Sunday, a worshipful Sunday. If you can hear in the background a lot of worship music going out there, I feel like I'm in like a, you know, just a big cathedral. Just, I mean, just I mean, I'm in the mood. Huh? Uh, in the mood. I'm. I'm, in the, mood. I'm are, is, the question is: Is this Tennessee football team in the mood? Scrimmage coming up on Tuesday. Here you are in your full day of pads. You're kind of in the grind a little bit, starting of camp. Uh, a lot of defensive linemen wearing knee braces as kind of mandated by the coaching staff. I think they, those were bothering people a little bit. Not the greatest start for the defensive linemen on the, on the practice field, but they were starting to get their rhythm going as we were leaving practice. It's hard not to get the rhythm going with the music going. Yeah, fair um, point. Guys that impressed me today, I love the way Dylan Sampson's moving around. He's carrying himself with a lot of confidence. I love the way Lynn Jay moved around today. It seemed like he was a lot much more confident kid uh, three or four days on at the practice field now. Um, you know, as he's sliding into shells and, and he'll be a, a full go for the scrimmage come Tuesday. Uh, th this is a team that I think has a lot more playmakers than it had a year ago. Maybe they're unproven in this scheme on this team, but they're guys, when you're out there watching them catch balls and run around, whether it be receivers or running backs, they look like they can help. Well, they do. And I, I think Jabari Small is clearly the number one tailback on yeah. this team right now. I think the behind him is going to get really interesting over the course of the next week and a half. We know Jalen Wright's not 100%. He's still dealing with that quad. Not sure when he's going to get back. Door opening for Lynn Jay. Door opening for Dylan Sampson. Both of those guys seem to fit this scheme well. Seem to be making some noise and, and doing some things. That's not to say Justin Williams Thomas has not got a factor there. But I think Sampson is the guy that's kind of caught everybody's attention because he was a bit more of an unknown. You knew he was fast, but, but what was he in pads? I, I think he's shown himself well. And again, we've talked about it. with Lynn J. Dixon, it's all about Lynn J. How much does he invest in learning this stuff as fast as he can? If he does, he's going to put himself in a position to help this team. Offensive line, the biggest thing for me is, is who's going to start at left tackle opposite Darnell. Um, Gerald Mincy looks like he's had a solid start to fall camp. He's clearly, to me, the most talented guy there. Doesn't mean he's going to start. I mean, J.J. Crawford, Dane Davis, they're still vying as well. But it clear, it's pretty clear to me that, that Gerald Mincy looks the part the most. Well, I think he's the most athletic guy, and he's the most probably raw talented guy, which we've talked about. You're right. Who goes and wins that? Glenn Ellerby stated it very clearly on, on Thursday, I guess, when he met the media. We'll know a lot after this first scrimmage, and then you hope to settle it in after the second scrimmage and kind of be done with it there. So this is kind of moving week uh, for, for that position. Jerome Carvin, a little maintenance day continuing. They're being very cautious with him. He's not an issue at all, but he is not doing, going through practice. That means Addison Nichols getting a ton of work at guard. I think Addison is a guy who has really built off what he got in spring. We talk about midterm and row leaves. Does it help? Does it not help? I think for Addison Nichols, getting here in January, getting in an off-season program, getting into spring practice has put him in a situation where he's going to have a chance to push to be one of those guys in the depth chart. I'm not saying he starts. I'm not saying he plays a lot. But I think there's growing confidence with his ability to help this football team. Well, coming out of Tuesday's scrimmage, it'll be fascinating to see who's made a move on the offensive mm -hmm. line, who's made a move in the secondary. What does that look like? We know who's going to you know, likely be the number one secondary out there, but who performs well? And does anybody start pushing some of those older vets for playing time, whether it be a star or safety? Yeah, and I think at star, one of the things that's interesting to watch is Tamarian McDonald. Tamarian McDonald's getting every opportunity right now. He's got to go earn it, but he is getting a ton of opportunities at the star position. Can he earn it on the scrimmage field when that opportunity is out there and he gets on the field? Kamal Haddon's still limited. We're not seeing him out there. That means Christian Charles is getting a bunch of work. Brandon Turnage getting some work out there at corner. Warren Burrell. So they're trying to build some depth in there and create that competition. And there's a good bit of competition going on right there. I think the other thing interesting for me is who's those, who are those interior guys on the defensive line? Where's Bryson Eason, okay? Um, where, where's the help gonna come from in the interior to go with big Omari Thomas? I think that's a question mark as well. And then lastly for me, Juwan Mitchell looks different. He does look different in terms of how he carries himself drill to drill. Even before the shoulder last year, he was just kind of last in line, kind of there. Not, not going that way. There's a different sense of urgency about him, I feel like, right now on the practice field. And I think it helps that he's out of, you know, other colored jerseys. I, I think he's, that's helpful. He's, he's out of the yellow jersey. He's in an orange jersey. 
turning him loose a little bit, letting him kind of go out there and see. And what he's he can made do. a couple of plays this first week or so of fall camp. He's made a couple of plays to get his confidence going too. I think. Yeah, how to pick on Saturday during some 11 on 11 work. He's Brent Hubs. I'm Austin Price. And just remember, when you're craving wings, it's got to be craving wings. Online at cravingwings.com.